Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, after enactment of the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act in 2009, the Department of Transportation undertook a major effort to publicize the status and impact of these funds. It's my understanding both the Federal Transit Administration and the Federal Highway Administration included substantial information, including sometimes weekly state-specific reports on their websites to detail for the public the progress in utilizing these funds. There's a provision in MAP 21, Section 1503C, entitled Transparency and Accountability that basically directs the Department of Transportation to do for the core highway and public transportation program investments what it did for the Recovery Act highway and transit funds. We have a lot of people in our country who question the value of federal transportation investment. It seems to me it would be a good idea to a uh, place to start uh, to, in answering this question is showing them how each state benefits from these funds. It also seems that you thought this was a pretty good idea for uh, a strategy for Recovery Act funds. So my question then for uh, Mr. Rogop and Mr. Anato, is there a substantive reason why the department has not been providing the American people with the specifics of how core highway and transit program funds are used in a timely matter, manner pursuant to this provision of MAP 21 as you did with stimulus funds? Thank you, uh, Congressman. Uh, I, uh, first, uh, I want you to know we've been diligently working uh, uh, on this requirement and expect to post a detailed report on the web uh, and issue the summary report to Congress by late spring. Uh, consistent with similar financial reports uh, and requirements MAP 21, the software development was time to ensure that we have uh, one year of data uh, available for the report. Um, the scale of this particular report, uh, for example, if you look at the uh, report uh, on, uh, on ARA, we're talking about a universe of about 12 or 13,000 projects uh, and files. This is a universe of a, in excess of 100,000 projects and files. So uh, it uh, simply was a larger task and uh, we're approaching it as aggressively as we possibly can. But that, that is the expectation of time with respect to delivering that product. And our commitment is to make it uh, uh, of high quality so it will be useful to certainly to you and, and Congress and the American people. Mr. Crawford, could I just add to that? Uh, we agree that greater transparency of where the federal aid highway funds are going by project is very useful. I think as members who are voting and authorizing these projects, you should know precisely where the dollars are going project by project. We would like to know ourselves. Secretary Fox, as a former mayor, I could tell you is, was curious as a, as a mayor in North Carolina where all of North Carolina's dollars were going by project and couldn't always get the information he wanted either. Um, we are standing up that capability. You, you drew a distinction between the Recovery Act and our regular program. The Recovery Act had reporting requirements in it, in statute, that gave us all of this additional information. That was not carried over to the federal aid program, and we're not necessarily recommending that it be so because it was really quite an administrative burden on the grantees. But that said, we are working to get project by project data, and we are as interested in it as you are. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. And yield back. 